What's up guys? I finally cleaned my truck yesterday after like two months of have it being dirty and running it like that. The wheels could use a little bit more polishing but it's like way better and way cleaner than before and even gave it some wax and I usually um, put the trim restoration on the bumper the front bumper but yesterday it was just getting too late so I told myself I'm gonna do it today and I just got off of work so I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna do it I use this Meguiar's ultimate black plastic restorer and I got some tape which I'm gonna tape here to give you guys a before and after demonstration So first thing you want to do is grab your ultimate black and squirt some on. Next thing you want to do is grab a rag and rub it on. You kind of gotta like work it a little and just keep rubbing it. And you can already start to see the difference between the area we're applying it to this side versus this side. Then you can wipe it with the dry part and that's how it looks. So you pretty much do that to everything. Whoops. This is just the hard part about having like black stuff, black trims. Some people paint theirs, like their valence and the top cap on these kind of bumpers, just like Jason's Forerunner. And you can either paint it black if you like that black look, because I kind of like that black look. But I kind of also want it to have that natural look instead of like having it be smooth or it kind of does look smooth but at the same time it kind of looks texturized so that's why I have to do with this So I'm gonna rub that on and get it in there, get it in the plastic, let it soak good, and then wipe it off after. Then I'll get back to you guys. 
so this is pretty much the end result you can see how it's kind of like fading and kind of whitish over here or like a lighter gray compared to this more deeper gray as well as this part and this part so here it is see that So you can really see the difference if I never put the tape and I just did the whole thing you guys probably wouldn't see side by side of how the thing would look using the McGuire's there's a little closer view of it Cherry. I've heard of people using like torches to torch the plastic like with heat and that brings back its shine and I was kind of tempted to try it but I did more research about doing that and the reason how that works is the heat causes the oils inside the plastic to come out to the surface and that's what causes it to look more like shinier but when you're doing that you're taking out the oils from within the plastic and bringing it to the surface but once that dries out the plastic becomes like more brittle because you know how like plastic is kind of you can bend it and stuff when it dries out it ends up being brittle and i didn't want my stuff to become brittle so i do this another thing you could do to have like that natural look is to paint it and if you don't want to paint it gloss you could paint it with like a satin paint which is what i did for the cowl here on a 240 hold up let me pop the hood for you guys to give you guys a better view. I also did like the headlight trims inside. Shoot, it's kind of dirty right now, but never mind. That's not a good example. <laughs> Here's a little better example. Like this piece right here. This piece was the original black plastic, but it was same thing, faded. So I painted it with satin paint. I did this piece, the cowl, but it's pretty messed up right now. And the headlight trims. I don't know if you guys can see it. So same thing. If you guys see this on stock 240s and they're kind of like mostly dried out this side as well so satin black is or satin pretty much is not gloss and not flat or matte black it's pretty much in between and I chose satin because this kind of looks satin and this kind of looks flat so like the natural look is not too shiny or not too flat it's supposed to be like this oh even this too this is supposed to be like a regular black plastic but same thing as fading uh, it's kind of dirty right now though but yeah I painted that too See, satin, it looks kind of original. I am by no means a professional auto detailer, but I just want to share with you guys my knowledge and what I know and what I use. I've tried other stuff like Armor All or I think Mother's Back to Black, but by far this is like the best thing for this kind of stuff that I that I've used so far but if you guys got any suggestions 
I'm open to try other things because the armor off or the mothers I feel like they didn't last as long as this and I would say yeah I pretty much did this back in my video about a couple months ago when I was polishing the wheels with the orbital sander but I would say the ultimate black it lasts kind of I wouldn't say long but not too bad maybe about like a month or so I know a lot of you guys clean your guys cars probably every other week if you're not lazy or busy like me I guess I'll go ahead and finish off the rest of the bumper and I've got something to show you guys it's pretty much an update of the windbreakers I just want to say thanks guys for getting all of your orders in. The windbreakers are being in production right now and hopefully they'll be done soon. I'll give you guys an update and message all of you guys who ordered to coordinate meetups and shipping. And thanks again guys for supporting and buying merch. And a few shout outs. Shout out to the homies up in Cali, Blaine and Christine. Diamonds on a budget. Don't mind my sweat because it's hot here in Hawaii. Follow their Instagram if you guys like 240 content and drifting and occasionally camping, four-wheeling, four-honor stuff. Subscribe to their channel. I'll put a link down below. Hit them up for some cool merch. And also, I don't know if you guys noticed, my pop socket, Fortune Status pop socket. Shout out to Layler's Charms. Hit her up for some custom made pop sockets or charms. You guys could buy it for your girlfriend, your family members, your mom. Or if you're a girl watching, head over to her charm account and see what she got. She has new releases every month. So look out for that. And yeah, just want to say thanks for watching guys. Like, drop a comment down below. and. Subscribe. Peace.